Hello, everybody. That talk was too funny. I gotta bring it serious, you know, bring it down a notch or two. All right. Definitions, similarity, and difference, and then applications that group on where I work right now. So yeah, spy versus spy. Definition, according to one of the original definitions, according to NATO Software Engineering Conference, 1968, which was the inception of it, was it's the establishment of sound engineering principles to produce economical software reliable efficiently on real machines. Anybody disagrees with wanting that? Nope. However, uh, software craftsmanship came out after a while, and Pete McBreen basically said that it's, uh, software development is a craft. It's not just engineering. It's actually science, mathematics, linguistics, and art. Also, the pragmatic programmer compares it to you know, traditional European craftsmanship, like building bows and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, crystal balls and wizards, magicians. <laughs> All right, similarities. So both engineering and craftsmanship are about meeting customer demands, delivering high quality software, ensuring timely release, and minimizing the risk of failure. These are big goals for both. So why do we have both though? So issues that came out with engineering is that a lot of engineers seem to believe, by ha it's just a bad habit, that things can be completely controlled, where A lead to B, lead to C, lead to D, and then you produce success. But it doesn't work that way. They also believe that you have to learn a lot of best practices, and, you know, check design patterns, software architecture, whatever, requirements engineering, before you can succeed. When a lot of people have succeeded in the field with standard you know, software craftsmanship practices uh, or even disciplines. Also, they often try to apply a best practice in every situation. And then you know, it's like trying to put a square you know, peg in a like, round hole. Nah, it does not go in. It does not go in unless you really use a hammer, though, which is the golden hammer. But yeah, going back to craftsmanship. Uh, craftsmanship, however, thinks of, craftsmen think of development, software development is an art that emerges, not, that cannot be controlled. Also, they discover their own best practices in the process. And I've actually experienced that working at Optiva before we actually bought, got bought by Groupon last year. Also, they often transcend their own best practices when they don't make sense anymore, and they rely more on gut feeling and intuition to succeed. I've seen that on the Mad Mimi project, uh, which was being worked on by Dave Hoover at one point at Optiva. Tom DeMarco, who said you cannot control what you cannot measure, even he had an article in the IEEE recently called Software Engineering, an idea whose time has come and gone. So basically, one thing that I gathered about this is while engineering was about the macro goal that we all agreed on in the room because nobody lifted their hand, uh, craftsmanship is more about mastering the micro process that helps to lead to that goal. So if you really want to deliver quality software, you can go the craftsmanship route and deliver what engineers want. However, software engineering is well alive and well at Groupon, which I'll give some examples about given that I've uh, started working there in October, last October. So, you know, there's system health measurability of the site, usability design and A-B testing, uh, release engineering, people, you know, can do int continuous integration, performance engineering, we measure uh, different pages, response times, in order to ensure, uh, you know, good experience for people. We got software architecture, verification acceptance testing, iterative development, velocity tracking. So a lot of the, you know, software engineering techniques are very helpful at a large environment like Groupon. However, a lot of software craftsmen, uh, or engineers, sorry, at Groupon, like the idea of software craftsmanship too. And I'll give you an example of that in a sec. Um, and that's been mostly motivated by Dave Hoover, who you know, came to Groupon through Optiva during the acquisition last year. So for example, we have an apprenticeship program. This is Jacob. He just finished the apprentice, six-month apprenticeship program. That, that's his mentor. We have interbranch employee swap, kind of like the craftsmanship swap to exchange information, pair programming. Uh, also, we have high encouragement to present at conferences. So I'm presenting tomorrow also on Rails Engine Patterns. And then we have a few masters like Michael Feathers helping around and Aaron Bedra, one of the contributors of Clojure, the Clojure, Clojure programming language. So uh, that's about it. I uh, gave a you know, definition of software engineering for, versus craftsmanship, talked about the similarities and differences.
as well as the applications that Groupon. So thank you, everybody.